as you see the laps winding down now. Kanta giving Provenzino a look. To the inside, Provenzino can probably see the nose, the blue nose of that 85. And now he'll see the whole side of the car as he go down the back straightaway. Provenzino wisely shuts the door going into turn three. And now in traffic, this will be very interesting. Provenzino preferring a little higher groove. Kanta working the bottom. Gets to the tail of the 28 as they go through three and four. The double O is Scott Herrick. He's about to go a lap down. Laps winding down. Kanta with a run down the front straightaway for the lead. Kanta will pull up behind Herrick. Try to slide up to Provenzino. No. Provenzino holds on to the top spot. Kanta with a big move there. Kanta trying the outside line. Chad Mater is on the charge. He will join the mix. Kanta to the inside on Provenzino down the back straightaway. This is for the lead. With the white flag about to wave. One more time around. Kanta down low. Provenzino up high. They are door to door. And Chad Mater is right there. Provenzino trying to clear Herrick. Still cannot get by the slower car. Kanta, one last chance, and Mater is right there. Three cars coming for the win. It will be. Oh, Kanta. We will wait for the official call. That one was very close. Got it on the board. It is on the scoreboard off of turn number one, John Kanta, and I will bet you that. Your winner by Kanta, 100 of a second. Wow. A tenth of a second. John Kanta. And here's the replay coming to the line. Watch this final lap and keep an eye on that 55C coming into the tail end of the picture in the final corner. Scott Herrick, the double O, drove, drove very wisely to stay in front of these guys. He did a good job. Doing what he's supposed to do, holding his line. Yep. yep. You have to make the leaders pass you. Exactly. Canton to the inside, the blue car. Provenzino. It is that close. The official scoring loop is approximately the flag stand. I think it's just a few feet before it. Sort of where that white pipe is. Yep, there's a white pipe from the flag stand down. You can barely see it in that picture, but that is the, where the electronic scoring loop goes underneath the track directly across to the Hoosier Racing Tire sign on the, on the stage. The electronic scoring and timing system up in the tower determines running orders it also gives lap speeds and lap times and things like that which we don't have that information in front of us but the scoring and timing is done in the tower mark fleischer you heard him make the announcement one tenth of a second difference <laughs> or ten hundredths however you want I, uh, <laughs> I can't i can't say that in a tenth of a second <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound like it sounds like way too much doesn't it yes. Jeff Provenzino a year ago had an issue with the transponder location on his car and lost a heat race. Actually, that was earlier this year in a challenge series event. That time he had it in the right spot and it didn't help him. Yeah. <laughs> John Kanta is your winner. That is the second time. The second time that he has won a Twin Ports Twin 25's late model feature. The previous one came in 2012. He is $1,500 richer pending scaling and teching. And he is. We'll turn it down to the Como, or down to the victory lane for the well, future. Well, I'll tell you what. Great job. You dogged him for I don't know how long. Got a little tra lap, uh, blah, blah, blah. lapped traffic there for a while. But uh, you got him at the line here, so. Uh, 
you take home. Now, you're the only one that had a chance to win this twice, and that was back in 2012, I believe. You came second to uh, behind uh, Brady Smith, I think, and then you came from 16th position and won the second one. So you're the only one that's come the closest so far in nine years. But anyways, you had a strong run. The track conditions seemed to be pretty good for you. Yeah, it was, I mean, super slippery. And, you know, once that top side started burning off and I kind of started uh, sniffing around down a little bit and as the race went on, um, I really didn't have much choice but to try doing something else. And uh, getting in on the top over one was better than, than anything, but just kind of kept at it, and I didn't know whether I should follow the lap car or what, and it just ended up working out better. Well, there is a, there is a cushion up there, it looks like, from this point of view. Yeah, I can get in on it all right, but I'm not very good around and off, so uh, I started pushing pretty bad, so I had to do something else. And, and of course, Jeff would kind of get the run on me there, and, and I'd kind of try and get it back over there. This is all going to change now, of course. But first, let's uh, talk about some of your sponsors real quick, John. Well, Mars Race Cars. Uh, of course, they sponsor us. Uh, Joe Provo Racewear does all our wraps and all our T-shirts. Um, CMD Trucking, they're out of South Dakota for us. FYE Motorsports, uh, uh, FYE Motorsport Promotions, and, uh, and GRP Motorsports, too, and, and several other the local uh, people at home. Well, now you're going to make a draw for the invert to see exactly where you're going to start in the second feature, and then everybody will go accordingly. We'll get, then we'll get a bunch of pictures for you, see what you get. What do you got? <laughs> Meeny, meeny, miny, that one. <laughs> well, that's right, that was for the, uh, that was for the, uh, what do you call it? The <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, okay. All right, so that'll be, uh, he'll be outside of row five then, is that, and then, and then right. uh, everybody else will go in according to uh, their finish. Okay, okay, John, there you go. Congratulations. And we have that unofficial top ten finish, so these drivers finishing first through tenth in feature number one will be inverted for feature number two coming up in just a little bit. Here is your unofficial top ten rundown. John Canta, your winner. Jeff Provenzino second, third to the 55C of Chad Mater, fourth to the 71H of Rick Hannestead, and fifth to the 11 of Pat Doar. Sixth place will go to the 33X of Adam Hensel, seventh to the 10 of, Je of Mike Balkan, eighth to the 6M of Jeff Masson Gill, ninth to the 42S of Don Shaw, and fifth to the 25 of Jared Seifert. So Seifert will start on the pole with Shaw alongside for Twin Ports Twin 25's feature number two coming up in just a little bit. Back with our Pure Stock feature after this. You're watching the Amsoil Twin Ports Twin 25's from the Amsoil Speedway in Superior, Wisconsin on the iFan Sports Network. <laughs> 